The Gambler's Woe by Anthony Reynolds. A short story from League of Legends. Read to you by Prestige Edition. My, there's quite the hall you have there. One at the tables, was it? Well, here's to your very good health. Cheers. Oh, no. I'll not be rolling the dice with ye. Not a gambling man no more, or so I tells myself. There were a time, no. What happened? The River King happened, and that's what. Aye, two coats. That old devil Tom Kench. He's what happened. I was Bill's poor, beg your pardon, and living in a flop house. Had nothing to my name. Not till a single gold cracking. Aye, this one here come to my possession. I could tell you how, but you'd call me a liar. <laughs> so, with this one gold coin, what I ought to done was pay me debts and find a new crew to join. I was a harpooner, see? Should have put aside whatever was left for the future, been responsible like. Harpooning's a harsh life, even for a younger man. Well, that's when the River King found me. Why work someone else's ship, he says, slaving away, risking your life for next to nothing when you might have a ship of your own. I just had to think bigger, like. Of course, one Kraken won't buy a ship, but he had an answer to that, didn't he? Dice. One good throw of the bones, and I'd have enough to start me own little operation. Others could do the danger work while I sits back Nice and plum, enjoying the profits. And after a few more drinks, you understand, that crooked devil's advice starts to make a lot of sense to me ears. So, blinded by greed and possibility, I went along with it. That night were a blur. I awoke well after noon the next day, me head fairly pounding. Had no idea where I was. Some fancy body house, as it turns out. But on the dresser were me previous night's winnings. More than enough to purchase meself a ship. Ah, but the River King had given me a taste for something more. Why should young Lars content himself with a single ship when he could have a fleet? Just needed a chance, me hand, a few more times. That's Bilgewater. There's riches to be had if you're willing to risk everything over and over. With old Two Coat's arm around me, I was led from the dice tables to other halls of avarice, from backroom card games to gambling and betting parlors, high and low. I spent a fortune, lost a fortune, then made it all back again, around and around, and that alluring spiral I went. I was feeling the hunger, the yearning, and it was pulling me down like a whirlpool. Years passed, and somewhere along the way, I'm ashamed to say I forgot what I was doing all this for. I forgot who I was. I had it all, but it never were enough. I wanted more. And then, I started losing big. That made me double down, go for broke. All or nothing, looking for the big states to put me back on top. Pretty soon, I was in a worse state than I'd been to start with. Sleeping in the gutter, catching rats to eat if I were lucky. I begged, borrowed, and stole from everyone who'd ever shown me any kindness. Lost all me mates, chasing the dream. It feeds on misery, see, does Tom Kench. As old as sin he is, and older than Bilgewater by far. Been round from the start of things, gorging himself on the desperation what comes with the greed and sorrow in men's hearts. I mean, I'd done it to myself, but it were him what give me the means. You might say he took me to the cliff's edge, but I were the numpty what threw myself off, beg your pardon, and that old glutton reveled in me despair. Came to me once more, he did. 
when I was at me very lowest, drinking from puddles, having sold me own leg to be used for chum. In the darkest night, whispering and cajoling, he pressed this gold crack in back into me hand with a knowing wink. Twere the same one I'd had back at the start. It were this damn coin which starred me on that wretched path. Eh, he opened his mouth wide and says, It's not too late, Lars. Never too late. Come with me, and we'll find you a fortune again. Even after everything, I was tempted. Of course I was. But no, I resisted. Mother Serpent knows how. Two Coats only laughed. Said he'd be there when I changed my mind. And sure enough, the temptation's still there. Now, every day. So here I am, friendless, broke, all the best years of me life behind me, wasted in those lost decades. Can't remember most of it neither, so I've no idea if I even enjoyed myself. Anyways, enough of me rambling. There's a lesson to be learned here. Keep your purse strings tight and never, ever make a deal with a river king. You've always got more to lose. Thanks for listening. All credit for these stories goes to Riot Games and League of Legends. Full details can be found in the video description. If you enjoyed this production, please hit like and subscribe. There's a lot more coming.